Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's day one. Day one of what, you ask? Of a new project. Something a little out of our realm that we normally wouldn't do, but it's something that uh, I'm taking on and actually partnering with uh, Hustleworks. We're gonna get this thing rebuilt. Get what rebuilt? That's right. On my trailer right now, it's a 2017 Z51 Corvette. That is a Stingray. So, wrecked in the front, down the right side, not too bad, but we're gonna start the uh, rebuild on it today. We've gotta do a little bit of inspection, see what we're dealing with. It's aluminum, so definitely worried about that. Make sure there's no aluminum structural damage, but uh, the rest of it should go pretty easy. I've never worked on a vet before, really. I'm kind of excited by it. Rebuilding a Corvette. We'll see where it takes us. Looking forward to it. All right, so as I mentioned, on the trailer, 2017 VET. We are gonna rebuild this car. I'm actually partnering with uh, Matt from Hustleworks. Him and I are gonna put this thing back together, restore it to its former glory. 2017 C51 Stingray. So, doesn't look too bad. Hood, fenders, headlights, front bumper. So, first glance, not bad at all. So, left side, immaculate, no issue. But get a little closer you start looking there's something missing here you get the apron replaced got a lot of wiring to deal with and everything hardware brackets shrouds everything's missing biggest thing you see right here where the frame rail end grows in welds are cracked so got it here at the shop today fire up the aluminum welder we got to get those stitched back up after we get them cleaned and then we keep going cracks in the door the cracks in the shell. That's not too bad. If we get further back, quarter panel, rear bumper. Nothing that can't be taken care of, but it's going to take some time. It's going to take some work. Keep watching. I'm going to start rebuilding this thing today. Get a little repair work done. We've got parts coming in. Hopefully, have this thing running driving. A couple episodes. We'll see. Wish me luck. All right, so here's what we gotta fix. We got some hairline cracks up here, but mainly this here, both sides. I'm gonna grind this out, get the old weld out, use our pulse MIG aluminum setup. Got a push-pull gun on it. We'll go ahead and get this welded back up, get some paint on it, get her done. Get her welded up. Step one, complete. says welding aluminum is easy is telling you a fib so it's not easy but we got it done so now we can move on to the next phase from here off to drop it off at hustle works <laughs> We got the vet unloaded down here at Matt's place. As you see, there's his Jeep in the background. You saw that in the uh, recon video, which is a fusion. Don't worry about that. But you see right there, brand new Supra. 68 Camaro. Got the vet unloaded and parked in the shop. 95 Supra sitting on the lift. Back there, 93. They're growing on trees around here. 95 here, JDM imported right-hand drive is getting a twinsy design lip kit all the way around. 
It's up in the air right now, but I cannot wait to see this thing done. All right, well, we got the super out, we got the vet in. Today, we're gonna start tearing this thing down. So, we got the front frame rail lines welded up. Today, we're gonna start dismantling this thing. It's not too bad, but as you saw before, it needs a quarter panel, door's got some damage, mirror's cracked, you can see the door damage in there. Hoping we could save that. Same with the rear bumper. So, it's pretty screwed up, but uh, I'm pretty good at plastic, so a little heat, some adhesive, we'll see. Wish me the best of luck. But, uh, 2017 vet, Hoping that uh, this thing comes together the way we're thinking. Driver's side, which is the good side, it's pretty good. So I've got parts in for it. Got the new apron. It came in. That is the damaged apron on that side. And when I say damaged, I mean missing. So half it's gone. So we're going to get try and get that glued in here today as well. So but you see I got used fenders behind me. I've got a genuine GM apron for it. And uh, we've got a hood come in and have a quarter panel. So if we can save that door, we'll be on the up and up. So definitely, guy that wants to rebuild this vet, I think he's gonna be happy in the end. So, but keep watching. We're gonna get this thing started, start tearing it down, go from there. All right, we're gonna start getting this bumper off. As you can see, some of it's already been taken off for us, so that'll make life a little easy. But there's Torx bolts in here, T15 if I remember correctly. Underneath here is a piece of trim. This pops straight out. You got T15s in there. That attaches the whole top of the bumper. Come down underneath, got seven millimeter, I believe it is. Uh, bolts that go there behind the tag. There are two bolts, we gotta pull that off. The other side, normally, there is a piece of trim. That pops off, get the bolts out from the bottom. And then there's Torx behind there. And in theory, whole bumper should pop off. From there, get the bumper taken off. Start working on this quarter panel, work our way forward. Start looking at see what the damage is underneath. What I'm concerned about is I see a little damage to the actual structure of the car itself. So doesn't look too bad. The gate fits the quarter panel pretty well. So I don't anticipate anything major underneath here. So the nice thing is it unbolts. So we should be able to unbolt that quarter panel as long as it's not stuck to the adhesive for the window. All right, well, got the rear bumper off, uncovered this. Got some damage to the rear taillight panel, folded in here pretty good. Reinforcement, definitely gonna have to replace that. And keep working up the side of the car, see what we got. Hopefully that's the worst of it. Quarter panel's off. See a little bit of damage right here. Actually, scratch that. That was just dust. <laughs> so, it looks like it travels up. We have some adhesive separation through the top here, to the bottom. Not too bad. Looks repairable, but I want to check the procedures on that just to make sure it's something that we can repair and should repair. Just because you can repair it doesn't mean you should. Onto the door. All right, so we're trading off. Matt's pulling off the no, trim panel. Going, no, you're going back right in there. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you sure you do? No. 
<laughs> I took the bolt off and now you do it. <laughs> got the uh, 10 millimeter out here, wherever my finger is, right there. A Torx on the bottom. And buried back in there is a 10 millimeter. And from here, should be able to pop trim panel off. Should is the key word. Never worked on a vet before, so. Ten-inch. Imagine a nice set of ten-inch subs in there. Woo, baby! <laughs> All right. All right. Well, after a lot of cussing and about fifteen minutes, we finally got the mirror off the car. If you own one of these cars and you want to pull the mirror off, your best bet is to pull that big old honking bow speaker out of there. You can get it through it up here. There's three ten-millimeter bolts, but you have to have the perfect length. Of extensions to get to it. Best bet, take the speaker out, reach up through there, use a wrench, and then just keep an eye on which way it goes. Wire comes down, routes to the inside of the door around the window track, back around, comes out through here, and then plugs in. Whew, it is definitely not easy to get that out, so. But, just about got the door apart. All right, pulling the belt molding off. Got a T15 up here in the front. Now the belt molding is essentially the weather strip that's at the bottom of the glass. So that's what you see on the outside of the car. It keeps dust, debris, and stuff just from getting down in there. But, like I said, it's at the bottom of the glass with it up. But speaking of glass, there's our glass. Some assembly required. I should make my son gather all the pieces and spend the rest of the summer putting it back together. But I'm not that evil of a dad. That would be fun though. Pull the screw. You can worry it out of these silver tabs right along the top and this will slide right out and when it comes to reassembly snap it right back in but in the meantime we're gonna start working on the rear bumper i think it's pretty trash but i think we can get it it's definitely gonna save a lot so it's only got one small hole in it the rest of it heat reshape rebond it back together shouldn't be that big a deal so but keep watching stay tuned Subscribe, like, tell your friends, tell your family, and we'll have more on the vet coming up. We got some other projects in the works. If you're subscribed, you'll see what we got. Bye.